Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad, and today we're going to take these axles, we're going to put sprockets on them, and we're going to put wheels on them. And we're going to use our old friend Loctite 680. Now, before you go and say that it'll never hold, I have proof that it does hold, unless you put it on a motor. That we just, just don't put it on motor sprockets. So, just get a generous amount of it on here. Another thing I discovered that uh, if you have to remove one of these, and you can remove these, you've got to add heat, you have to clean up both surfaces to, uh, in order to get things to stick together like they're supposed to again. So, put that on there, just kind of work the Loctite into the joint. At least that's what I'm doing. There we go. Working it in there. Use the set screws here. So that's machined so it's flat. It's pretty tight fit. So use the T-handle here and just crank it down. And I'll wipe off the excess. That's what the rag's for. Now I'm going to let those sit there and I'm going to let that stuff cure for a little bit. We'll come back to this and we'll do the, uh, the wheels in just a little bit. Probably about 20 minutes, I think, 10 minutes, until it's uh, fully cured. That ought to be plenty enough time. I right, know that's out of time to cure. Now we'll glue the glue, Loctite, whatever, the wheels on here. the same treatment we did the sprockets. I cleaned these ahead of time so they were all cleaned up nicely in the shop. So I'll just work that into the joint there. It's got a nice coating on it there now. Something important to remember when you're working a little block tight. Close the container. It occurred to me that uh, I can put the other wheels on these and have it set up like this and it'll just stay put. They'll just cure like that and they'll be well secured to the axles. Now we welded these truck frames up in a previous video and used the welding fixture table for that. We're going to be using some other tools for uh, finishing them. And now we're going to put the pins in here. I've loctited this pin. These pins are for springs, the spring retainer pins, so they don't hold any weight. So a little retaining compound and slip fit. So let's start assembling the trucks here. I've already got the pins on for the springs, those are spring retaining pins. Um, the uh, pillow block bearings are on the axles. And we'll 
just fasten the pill block bearings to the axles now. thing to do while you're doing this is to index the wheel uh, or index the axle here just make it make it center you can kind of do it by feel by feel is close enough that'll get it riding about as true as you can get it to ride and uh, the suspension will take up any tiny amount beyond that. I may still do some slight adjustments to this after I get it all together, but we've at least got a basic tram, as we would call it. Tram the wheels in, or tram the axles in. So flip this thing around here. Get this end, this side. You know, technically is the side. Pull that out a bit. About there. Yeah, that's about where it is, where it needs to be. Now we tighten it all up. Is that a axle on? That truck is now assembled. These Zerk fittings here, these are to lube the bearing moving inside the housing here. They don't lube the bearing. It is a sealed bearing. And so, yeah, you can certainly, you can certainly lube these, but from what I understand, it's not required because it is a sealed bearing. Um, and like I said, this, this lube point is for, for the whole bearing moving inside the pillow block, which is one of the great features of a pillow block is the, uh, the bearing doesn't have to be lined up perfectly. You can, you can line the shaft to whatever angle you need it to go to, which allows you to put shafts in at angles and things like that. So it's, it's, it's kind of nice. Pillow blocks are amazing pieces of equipment. Amazing parts. And uh, also, you can get them just about anywhere. So that's why I use them on these. Um, it's much heavier duty than, than what you need in this application. Um, but, you know, overbuilding a little bit builds reliability. And I like reliability, so. Also, this, this makes it easier for the user to repair it. You just go down to the farm store 
get a pillow block bearing for a three quarter inch shaft and pull this one off, pull, put the new one on. Infinite part source, I guess you could call it. Well, maybe not in, infinite, but they're, they're around. There's a lot of them, many different grades, so you can upgrade them too. Well, that's truck assembly. It's all set to go on the locomotive now, or all set for the locomotive to go on top of it, because that's the way it goes, right? So these are shop springs right here. I'll use the coaxial springs for, uh, for actually assembly. And uh, these are just used for, for test assemblies, um, getting everything sort of lined up when I know I have to disassemble it again. But you can see the, the pins are here. The, uh, the trucks can do the truck thing. So they can do the dance when they're on the uh, under the locomotive. And there you go. That's uh, one truck, all assembled. We've actually got two on these locomotives. Uh, they're single axle trucks, as you can see. And uh, we'll uh, we'll put that together in the next video, and you'll be able to see. Well, I guess more of a locomotive. I won't have the body on this locomotive because the customer is supplying that, so uh, that's, that's, that's going to be something you'll miss on this one. But we'll, we'll uh, do a, a body on another locomotive uh, for another time. So thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Um, share it with your friends. Subscribe if we deserved it. If you think uh, uh, you, you want to support this channel in a more substantial way and many people do and you can get some special perks if you do you can go to patreon.com slash millbrook railroad that's patreon.com slash millbrook railroad and you get early access to videos you get some exclusive content we've got some conversations going on over there so um, you join us over there at patreon.com slash millbrook railroad and that also gives you access to our uh, top tier level uh, discord server so Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.